All right, so what we said last time was that work equals force times displacement times cosine of theta. That was from last lesson. And I would like to, uh, I'd like to analyze a mass. I'd like to take that mass and I'd like to drop it down to a lower height. But before I start talking about how much energy it would get if it dropped down to a lower height, I gotta have some methods for how to get that energy. So first I wanna, I guess, maybe also think about how much energy it would take or how much work it would take to get it from the lower height up to the higher height. And wouldn't you imagine that the amount of work it takes to get it up to the higher height would be the amount of energy it would give up by coming down to a lower height? I mean, it's kind of assuming that gravity works the, the same both ways, right? The amount of, amount of energy it takes me to lift it up here is going to be the amount of energy it, take, it, it gives up when it falls from up here down to the ground. It's the same amount of energy. Because we're starting out with EG here, and it's going to become what kind of energy down here? Okay. Whereas here, I'd have to use some sort of work to gain EG. Okay? So let's talk about how much work it takes to lift an object up to a height. Work equals force times displacement times cosine of theta. And I want to draw a free body diagram. Let's say that this particular uh, I don't know, cliff or ledge or whatever it is has a height of 5.00 meters. And let's say that this particular object has a mass of 15.0 kilograms. Okay. So I, I'd like to figure out how much work it's going to take to get this object all the way up to here. Now I'm going to take a look at a free body diagram. I know that the force due to gravity acting on this object while I'm li lifting is going to be mass times acceleration due to gravity. And so I know that my applied force is going to have to be against that. So whatever this is is going to be equal to my applied force if I'm lifting it up at a steady, steady, steady rate and just putting it up on the, the ledge. 10 times 9.81. Sorry, not 10 times 9.81. 15 times 9.81. I need a little bit of help. What's 15 times 9.81? Is it 147.15? Yeah. 147.15 newtons. And so this has to be 147. Point, oopsie, 147.15 newtons. So when I go to calculate how much work is done, I'm going to say, all right, so the work done by a lifter here would be equal to force times displacement times cosine of theta. And the applied force by a lifter would be 1, sorry, 147.15 newtons. The displacement, according, according to our diagram, would be 5.00 meters. What about this theta? Remember, I got a displacement that's upwards, and I have an applied force that's also upwards. What's the angle between those two vectors? Yeah? Um, the angle is zero. Yeah. And the cosine of zero is one. Cosine of zero is one. Every single time. 147.15 times five. Is it uh, 735 point something? What do you get? Yep. 735.7 what? 75. 75? Okay. 75 Newton meters. A Newton meters is, is equivalent to a joule. So that's how much work is going to be done to lift this thing. So if it requires 
joules, and I guess we should do an approximately equal to, we had three sig figs, so it's 736 joules approximately. But 735.75 joules to lift the mass How much energy does it have if it falls back off the ledge down to the ground? And we should be more specific about this. What type of energy will it have when it hits the ground? Yeah, kinetic. Specifically, the type of energy it'll have when it hits the ground is kinetic energy. Is there anybody that could probably tell me that just by looking at this question? How much kinetic energy will it have when it falls back down off the ledge and hits the ground? People whispering. What is it? Come on, I, I saw you mouth it and I heard somebody whisper it. Yep. You got it. EK. You know what? We could even say... EK at the bottom is equal to 735.75 joules if it falls. So all that gravitational potential energy gets converted right back into kinetic energy. Conservation of energy, really. We said before, once upon a time, we said that energy can't be created or destroyed. You can just change it into different forms. And so we use work energy, which might be like our muscle energy. And we gave this thing energy from our muscles, lifting it. Then it sat up on top of the, the ledge, now endowed with gravitational potential energy. And it just sits there until somebody comes along and maybe just, just taps it. And it falls down. And as it falls down, it picks up kinetic energy. So three different ways of talking about energy. One, pushing it up, doing work on it. One, it just sits there and has gravitational potential energy. And one moment when it falls back down again, and it regains kinetic energy.